My name is Glenn Dunn. I go by Trey, because I'm the third Glenn. I am a student of Columbia, and I commute to school every day. I go to school four days out of the week, and I work five days out of the week. I'm gonna try to make my way to Ace Hardware, see if I can't fix my scooter, which is a crucial part of my commute. <laughs> it saves me money by not using the L, and I don't have to take a cap. I don't have to take a taxi everywhere I go. I get home around 10 o'clock on most days. If my boss lets me off early, which can happen because he's a cool dude, he'll let me off around like 9, but even still I get home around 9.30. So I only get about an hour to do homework or like any sort of project before I have to uh, hit the hay uh, so I can actually wake up for the 6 o'clock train. <laughs> If I don't make that train, then um, I have to make the later train. I'm usually late for class, uh, just because my budget, uh, my schedule's so tight. But it's definitely harder for me in, a, in my own personal ways. I mean, everybody's got their issues. But I believe that Columbia has really high expectations for students that commute. It seems a lot easier for students that are in editing classes or filming classes just to go right back home and do what they need to do. But for me, I have to wait about an hour and a half before I can even get home. <laughs> so I think it, they, they expect students to be on campus all the time. If they're not, then it's uh, tough luck, but you have the same expectations as the people that have to do it when they go to their dorms. What I'm looking for is something like a spring or something, something to just jam in my scooter and fix it. It, it, it can be rather difficult, especially when you're trying to save money, like pinching pennies everywhere you go. Because I am a fiance, I have been dating this girl for over seven years, and we're trying to save money for a wedding. I'm still on my last year with the commute and with paying college loans. So it's a lot of um, sacrifice that you have to do to save every penny that you can because I would love to live in the dorms if I had the money to. That's not to say I have the worst life in the world because that's far from the truth. I have an awesome life. I have a great family. I have great friends. I have a lovely fiance which is more than a lot of people can say. The way I learned how to ride a scooter was, um, my mother was always like some sort of tomboy. She always loved hanging out with the dudes and doing what the guys did. So when uh, growing up, she got me a skateboard, she got me a scooter, she got me all the cool things. She was everything. My dad didn't teach me how to be a man. My mom taught me how to be a man. My dad never taught me how to ride a scooter. My mom did. Um, my mom taught me how to tie a tie and all these like things. And another important thing is that my mom taught me how to live life with the hand that you're dealt. Because she knows the value of a dollar. Nothing was ever handed to her. She had to fight and scrap for every penny she earned. So, you know, I think that was something that she had to teach me. Let's see if this puppy rides. All right, moment of truth. Woohoo! Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Whoa. Oh, I footed it. <laughs> If there's anything I've learned, is to keep your inner child. <laughs> Boosh. I'm 23 years old and I ride a scooter every day. Get a little bit of lunch. Whoa! Oh, are you okay? 